Okay, I need you to listen. No, no, you need no, to listen. No, no, it's Carly. It's important, okay? I am gonna get out of here, but the system works how it works. There are no shortcuts. Wrong. I just had a little chat with Cyrus for now. Remember Cyrus told you it's a trap? He wants Florence back. If we return her to him, he is going to get the witness against you to recant. So if the police lose the one person who can place you with the murder weapon, they have to let you go. Carly, I'm not going anywhere. What are you talking because about? Because we're not taking that deal. What do you mean we're not gonna take the deal? You were mad that I took Florence to begin with. Yeah, because it was a dishonorable move, Carly, but it worked. Cyrus's hands are tied. We're not gonna give up that leverage now. What? Okay, then get me out by proving that I'm innocent. I have been trying. I even went and talked to Elizabeth, but she's so grief-stricken over Franco's death, she won't listen to okay, me. Okay, Elizabeth can only testify that she saw me kneeling by Franco's body. That's circumstantial. Diane's not gonna have a problem to get that thrown out. Now, what, what about this witness? <laughs> Apparently, Cyrus thinks they can be bought. Oh, she can be bought. The witness is Gladys Corbin. So Gladys says she saw me throw the gun down the garbage chute right outside Franco's art studio. Yeah, it all makes sense. Of course Cyrus paid Gladys to lie because her story is completely bogus. It doesn't make any sense at all. Why would Cyrus use Gladys to frame me? She probably volunteered. What better way to get back at us than to sell her testimony to Cyrus? Yeah, and that's all the more reason not to take the deal. Gladys is a lousy witness. Well, you got a point there. She doesn't even live in Port Charles. What's she doing at Franco's art studio? Not to mention, she's the mother of one of Cyrus's employees. He would have been smarter to use some random person from that neighborhood. And he didn't. Which can only mean one thing. Gladys must have been there that night and she really saw something. Jordan says the witness we now know is Gladys saw me drop the gun down the garbage chute at Franco's art studio. And the PCPD searched the basement and they found the gun that killed Franco. And since Gladys is an easy witness to discredit, she's only useful if she's telling the truth. Which means she must have seen the real killer ditch the gun. Gladys saw Peter. Gladys saw Peter ditch the gun. All the more reason to take the deal. No, Carly, We deliver no. Florence, okay? Cyrus tells Gladys to recant her statement, then we persuade Gladys to implicate Peter. We can't take the deal from Cyrus. Oh my God. Once he gets Florence back, he's gonna put her somewhere nobody can find her, then he's gonna come at us with everything he's got because we took Florence in the first place. That's why it was a bad idea. But now, this only works if we keep Florence. I don't know what to do. I can't leave you in here, and I can't take on Cyrus all by myself. You don't have to. You have an ally on the outside that you can rely on. Who?